Have you ever worked so hard for something and have just had it taken away in an instant? Hi, my name is Playtested, and today I will be going over four Murder Mystery 2 players that have almost had this happen to them, and the last one is pretty heartbreaking, so make sure you stick around till the end. Before I begin, I really want to premise this by saying that the issues that have happened to these people have all been resolved, and this video is purely educational and informative. Let's look back at the Halloween 2022 leaderboard. Mally Violet finished third place overall, collecting exactly 400,000 candies. Everything so far was normal, and it didn't take long for the trophies to come out either, with everyone on the leaderboard only having to wait around 10 days. That was until a very unusual bug that we had never seen before happened, and it's not what you might think. In case you don't know, when the Halloween 2022 trophies first came out, they were actually bugged and appeared as godlies on the claim screen. Those who had claimed it would not have their trophy show up on their main profile page, as well as it appearing on the Halloween godly section in their inventory. Most people assumed that this was a bug, and that it would be fixed soon. Mally Violet was one of these people, and instead of claiming it right away, he decided to get some rest and hope that Nicholas would fix this issue overnight. Unfortunately for Mally Violet, this wasn't the case. He really wanted to claim his trophy when it showed up as a unique tier, so he kept waiting and waiting. Now if you recall from earlier, I told you that Mally Valent got 3rd place overall, meaning that he owned the bronze Elderboy Blade trophy. And because of this, and the fact that he hadn't yet joined Murder Mystery 2 to claim it, no one knew what it looked like. Curiosity got the best of the MM2 community, which led to Mally Violent getting messaged at least 3 times daily about what this weapon looked like. So Mally Violent had to make a decision, should he continue waiting, or should he please the loud majority of Robloxians anxiously waiting to see the weapon's appearance. It was settled. Mally Valiant wanted to have time to use the weapon he worked so hard to get before the next Christmas event started, as well as also wanting to stop getting spam message about the weapon, so he joined MM2 and claimed it. Now wait, isn't this video supposed to be about trophies that almost disappeared? Well, yeah. And that is because what happened during the Christmas update. Everyone that hadn't claimed their trophies from the Halloween 2022 event had their trophies erased, just like that. MM2 usually has last chance periods where players can buy or spend candies on items that they've missed. This includes leaderboard winners too. After the last chance period is over, presumably, all the trophy data is deleted. We don't know if this is 100% true, but this is what appears to have happened. Nicholas has to manually add back any trophy owners that hadn't received anything, so who knows? Mally Vanit got lucky by claiming it at the time, but the next person, Miniature Faded Cloud, or Mini for short, who participated in the same event as Mally Violent, wasn't so lucky. Many had heard about the same godly trophy bug, and actually never joined Murder Mystery 2 at all from the span of when trophies came out until the Christmas event had begun. So, the Christmas event started, and many excitedly joined MM2 to claim their fixed blue Elderwood Blade trophy to the site of... nothing? No need to worry though, the server was probably just outdated. I'm sure if they join a private server, they will receive... nothing. What was going on? Many had gotten 12th place during this event. This couldn't all be just for nothing. Many immediately tried asking other leaderboard players what to do. And while many potential solutions were attempted, nothing had worked. And all hope seemed lost. A little more than six months have passed, and then one day, right when the summer event dropped, many decided to check out the new update, so they joined and the trophy was sitting there. After many months of waiting, Miniature Faded Cloud had finally received the Blue Utterwood Blade. Turns out, Nicholas did hear about this issue surrounding Blue Utterwood Blade and had fixed this problem a few months later, and while many wasn't aware of Nicholas's knowledge about this, they were pleasantly surprised to join MM2 with the trophy on their screen. Before we get into the next two missing trophies, if you're enjoying the video so far, you should definitely subscribe even though a MM2 bullet hitting exactly where you click is more consistent than my upload schedule. Yeah, so I guess I'm not very consistent with uploading, but let's get back into the video regardless.
Okay, so this was supposed to be the part of the video where I talked about someone else missing out on their blue elderberry blade and another person missing out on their red ice crusher, but unfortunately I was not able to get in contact with these owners so I do not have their permission to mention them, but I at least wanted to make sure that you guys were aware of this. This was probably one of the most heartbreaking yet satisfying stories simply because of how hard this event was. To put this into perspective, this leaderboard lasted 11 days and rank 100 was up 193,000 tokens. So that means you had to at least collect 17,500 tokens a day, which is surprisingly a lot higher than other leaderboards. In Baxiodor, 803 had taken part and had completed this leaderboard and was patiently waiting for their trophy to be released. A few weeks later, Red Ice Piercer was released to the public, and many players that had participated in this leaderboard quickly joined MM2 to claim it. However, Embaxiador had other plans. They really wanted to record themselves claiming their trophy, but also wanted the plasma bundle on the same day. The only issue was that they didn't have enough Robux at the time to do so. So they waited, and waited, and waited, and... Wait a second, that MM2 Christmas last chance period was over? And Baxidor stared at the MM2 screen with the new Blossom Gun on the thumbnail, and they were fairly disappointed and upset that they weren't able to buy the Plasma Bundle after waiting for so long. All hope that seemed lost, but Embaxidor had an idea. What if they were to get in contact with famous MM2 players and let them know about this issue? They decided to leave a comment on a YouTube video to try and get someone's attention, and luckily, someone saw it. Now you might think that this person would be a game tester or Nicholas himself, but surprisingly, it was none other than Mally Violet from earlier in the video who noticed it. Talk about coming full circle. Mally Violet contacted Embaxiador and told them that he would forward this issue to game testers. A few months later, the summer event had dropped, and Mally Violet once again contacted Embaxiador and told him to join a special Discord server and that a game tester would forward them to help fix their issue. Game tester Premarks told Embaxiador that Nicholas had added a patch to all private servers that would give out the missing trophies to players that hadn't received them yet. Embaxiador joined a private server and... After roughly 6 months of waiting, Embaxiador had finally received their missing trophy. I really hope you enjoyed this video because it took me so long to make because of how much research I had to do for it. Firstly, I just want to say that this issue is no longer an issue anymore, and that this shouldn't happen for future leaderboards. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to like and subscribe, and leave a comment with your thoughts on the video and maybe give some feedback. I would like to give a big shout out to Mally Violent, Miniature Faded Cloud, and Ambaxiador for being super helpful with this video. Their contributions made this video possible. As always, thank you for watching.